To solve this equation, we need to get rid of the radical, and we'll do that by squaring both sides. So I'll have the square root of x squared minus x minus 12, all squared, equal to x plus 3 squared. The square root of something squared is that thing inside. Now when I square x plus 3 squared, I'll have to use the rule that says we square the first term and then we take two times the first and the second term so we'll have 6x plus the square of the second term. I can now simplify this. I can subtract an x squared from both sides and when I do that I'll end up with minus x minus 12 is equal to 6x plus 9. I'll then add x to both sides, and I'll end up with negative 12 equals 7x plus 9. And then finally, I'll subtract 9 from both sides. And so I'll have negative 21 is equal to 7x. Dividing both sides by 7 will give us negative 3 equal to x, or x equals negative 3. We determined that x was equal to negative 3, but we need to see if that is an extraneous solution or not. So we'll substitute negative 3 for x. And see if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Evaluating this will give us negative 3 squared is 9. Subtract a negative is plus 3 and then minus 12. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Now simplifying this even further, 9 plus 3 is 12, minus 12 is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0. Because this is a true statement, we know that x is indeed negative 3.